Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my channel. Today I brought you a mini vlog and a cooking recipe. So there was a restaurant, a street side restaurant, it's called Kababish, in, located in Jackson Heights, New York. So me and my husband used to go there and every weekend in Jackson Heights to enjoy street foods like fuchka, different kinds of achar, different kinds of uh, pani puri charts and also enjoy kababishes kebabs. So they were famous for different kinds of Pakistani, Bengali and Indian recipes, especially kebabs, rice and uh, um, roti naan, all those kind of things. So we live in Maryland now and we literally miss kababish every other day. So today I decided to make Kababish's most famous dish, beef bihari kebab and everybody's favorite garlic naan with butter. So make sure you watch this video till the end to see all the step by step recipes and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and also press the bell notification for more future updates. So keep on watching. Making the naan wasn't going to be easy for me. This was the first time I was making garlic naan. So my mother stepped out and she helped me to make the dough of the naan. So here I was making uh, naan for five people. And um, I took about 10 cups of all-purpose flour. And here I am mixing three tablespoons of sugar in warm water. Because here I'm going to mix the active yeast. So the, you should always mix your yeast in uh, warm water with sugar and naan recipe always comes with sugar. So uh, here I am using the active yeast whole packet, not half. When I make pizza, I use half packet, but I need my naan to be very fluffy, very soft. So I use the whole packet of active yeast. It's about, I believe, two tablespoons of yeast. And this one packet has and then I mixed it very well you don't have to wait when you use active instant uh, yeast so this was the instant yeast I always buy that one so I don't really have time to wait for yeast then I'm using about uh, two and a half tablespoons of uh, yogurt non-fat uh, plain yogurt to the flour and by the way I already mixed the um, salt to the flour forgot to show you that and my mother is uh, making the dough for me and she's uh, adding the yeast water with sugar little by little to the all-purpose flour Then she added some oil, some cooking oil, we use olive oil and the dough is ready and we set it up for at least um, 45 minutes. So here I took some uh, beef, boneless beef, it was about 2 pounds, little bit over 2 pounds and uh, washed them very well with warm water and vinegar. Then we sliced it, thin sliced like that. Always remember if you're making Bihari Kebab you have to have your beef thinly sliced uh, that's the recipe so thin sliced beef I took and I'm going to smash it with my KitchenAid beef smasher I'm going to smash, his, uh, smash the beef um, slices in both sides to make it more flattened that's how it will be easy um, easy to cook and also juicy when I will put them in the square. When I'm done smashing the pieces, I will uh, thinly slice them um, like a chicken strip size 
and uh, that way it will be easy easier for me to put them in the skewer so here is all of the slices of beef that I uh, sliced and smashed and in this recipe you're supposed to be adding um, papaya paste green papaya paste but I avoided that one because I'm pregnant and I'm not supposed to be having papaya so here I used a Bihari kebab masala from national a whole packet if you don't have this masala packet you can also use your homemade masala which I had but this packet was bought long time ago and I had to use it before it gets expired so I used the whole packet to make it a little bit spicier then I used one tablespoon of green chili paste and ginger garlic paste about one and a half teaspoon then I used some coriander powder some homemade garam masala and a half teaspoon of chili flakes also salt I used just a little bit salt because the national Bihari kebab masala had salt already and uh, a half teaspoon of sugar the sugar I used instead of the papaya paste that gives the meat a juicy effect and uh, it cooks um, fast so then I also use some uh, olive oil and I'm mixing it make sure to mix it properly all the slices in both sides get all the masala this is the key to this recipe and this uh, Bihari kebab supposed to be spicy and I made sure that I make a spicy kebab you can increase or decrease your chili flakes and green chili paste according to your taste but I used more green chili paste and less chili flakes after that I'm going to uh, put my oven for preheat it's 360 degree Fahrenheit and uh, it's a good 45 to 50 minutes after that my mom is preparing the dough simultaneously I'm preparing my kebab so we both were working my mom was making the naan and I was preparing the kebab so putting all the beef slices into a skewer so also the beef slices um, I marinated for 45 minutes so if you make both the dough of the naan and the beef um, together you can uh, rest them both uh, at the same time and then you can just prepare them and make a hot meal my mom is dividing the dough for individual naans and today I have decided to make the naans on the grill of my stove you can make uh, you can use your cast iron fry pan or even uh, tandoor if you have tandoor in your home I didn't have it and um, my grill is also cast iron so there I'm going to be making the naans so all of my kebabs were ready in the skewer I put them in a big baking tray and I'm drizzling some olive oil on top you can also drizzle ghee but I thought it's not necessary so just some olive oil so this recipe is so easy you don't really have to check it take it out from oven and check it in between or oil it in between just one time oiling is enough you are going to bake that inside the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes my slices were thin and uh, smashed properly so I'm only going to bake them for 30 minutes so remember the temperature 380 360 degree Fahrenheit for 30 minutes and then on the side I'm making the garlic butter for my naan so here I used a whole stick of um, butter some um, chopped garlic also some uh, powdered garlic and some cilantro you can also use parsley we like cilantro so after that give it a good mix and your butter garlic is ready checking on the kebab at the same time and it still has few minutes left my mom made all the naan in an oval shape and here is my husband helping me flipping the naan on the grill of my stove to be honest he flipped all of the naans he made all the naan I mean um, 
he cooked all of the naan so my mom and my husband was naan duty that day and he did a pretty good job then i'm making cucumber raita this cucumber raita is also going to be very spicy i have yogurt some vinegar uh, chopped green chili cumin seeds also grated cucumber and a little bit salt here are the naan i'm keeping them inside a dutch oven with aluminum foil so it stays uh, softer and hot and after 30 minutes my kebabs are ready some of the slices fall off to the tray but that's okay and uh, i put i forgot to show you i put the kebab to the broil for another 10 minutes so all together it was 30 minutes bake and 10 minutes broil on high heat then i'm brushing the garlic butter on all of the naan and i'm plating my meal so this is the final look i plated the bihari kebab with garlic butter naan with some onion salad some cucumber raita and uh, lemon everybody loved it the entire meal was perfect portion the naan were super soft the kebab was super spicy and super delicious even though i'm not a meat lover i enjoyed my kebab really really good and um, everybody's opinion was 11 out of 10 trust me make it yourself this spicy juicy kebab and garlicky soft naan and comment down below in the comment section let me know if you followed my recipe and you enjoyed eating it as much as i enjoyed making this recipe for you thank you so much i'll see you next time